feel that tonight. If you ain't in this, if you're in this room and you do not feel how thin the veil is, come over here and talk to me. Because remember, this is all Halloween. We did some very memorable gigs with Michael Jan and the Jerry Garcia band. I was thinking about it today as I was smoking pot and looking at the Pacific Ocean. The first one that came to my mind was one that I did with the Jerry Garcia band at San Francisco State, and they opened up the student union to us, and we loaded in. This is a long time ago. One of the first gigs was Mel Saunders. Well, how do you call him by my first name, you know? So anyway, <laughs> I just, <laughs> forget about the Halloween thing, okay? I'm very high tonight. <laughs> my doctor is going to examine me. John, come up here. My doctor is going to examine me right before your very eyes tonight. I, am, I have nothing to hide. How did you know? Norm, you know me too well, sir. Anyway. He's got one. Now don't forget that tonight is a very special night in many ways. Because if you smoke, did any of you smoke pot tonight from the premiere? Oh, please. Dylan, where's your Bible? Dylan, get that Bible out. We gotta pray for these people, but we gotta pray. Some of these people smoke weed tonight. Look, everybody. Be real careful, there's an escape criminal here tonight. I think he was really smart, but somebody should... We have Russell. Oh, my son, as I hold this Bible to your head, I hear nothing in mine. Boy, this guy's as empty as they come right here. You know what? Everybody clap your hands if you believe in Dylan right now. Believe you're here. Everybody give... 45 of your brain cells to Dylan right now, please. Dylan, stand and speak. Speak, my boy, speak. Whoa! He's not been able to do anything but sing for 45 years, and he's only 13 years old. Now, I'm going to show you something that happens when you smoke enough weed in your life. Hey, take this Bible away from my hands. Whoa! I. You know, Jerry and I wrote that thing, so that's a little secret, okay? And when we talk, half of that book is about marijuana. Do you know that? Do you know that the land of Canaan was exactly about cannabis? That's why our people fought for that land. Moses was not going to get high on that Egyptian weed. When the Grateful Dead went to Egypt, we couldn't believe it. Don't get too close to me, Roger. Now, look at Roger tonight. What does he invoke in your mind? Now, oh, that's right. I'm going to tell you a story about the walrus, okay? Why, why am I wearing this walrus t-shirt? Sometimes, sometimes, yeah. We were playing in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Anybody know where Wisconsin is? Anybody know where Milwaukee is? We were playing at the Civic Center in Milwaukee, and I swear this is so true, we were very fucking high on LSD. And the Civic Center of Milwaukee was laid out so low, you could just see everybody in there. And so Phil comes out on stage, Mr. Phil Lesh, my dear buddy, and he was very high too. And he sees a guy out in the audience, there's all dead heads just like you guys. He's looking very much like this audience right now. Except this one guy had a white tuxedo on, and he had a fucking bow tie on, right? And so Phil said, come up here, come up here. He called him up on stage, and the guy came up to the mic and he goes, I am the Eggman. That's what he had to say. I am the Eggman. Then we were playing... Oh, these guys just my name just now. Who, who was it? Who said my name? Okay. Big. Sorry, I didn't mean to involve you in our personal business. Okay. Back to the Eggman. So we were playing a gig at Winterman. Now this is 20, no, 10 years, five, three years, right? 
bit later. And we were very high. And Crosby was there with us, David Crosby. And all of a sudden, a guy comes through the ceiling of Winterland, and that place was condemned in 1912, right? And he's hanging by the smallest thread, 